my first two years as a professional lacrosse player, I really didn't see a lot of time. My name is Jeremy Sieverts. I'm a professional lacrosse player from Baltimore, Maryland. I started playing lacrosse as probably about a four or five year old, house in town, soft stick lacrosse. Um, my dad played in college a little bit in high school, so he got me started at an early age. From there, just kind of middle school and high school at McDonough. After high school, got recruited and played at Butler for a year and a half. The program at Butler was dropped in January of 2007. Financial reasons, I think they were spread thin a little bit after they cut our program. Really didn't know what the options were. When was I going to be eligible to play? Who would be able to, you know, as a school, accept somebody at that time of year? The transition happened for me to, to move from Butler. They cut our program on a Friday. I flew home Wednesday and was in class in Maryland on Thursday. Zero scores! First of the day, no the screen. Sievert's a ball shot score. Sievert's right-handed alley dodge gets inside. So within a week, I was playing for a new university at a different school. Sievert's the senior who started his career at Butler. When I came in as a sophomore, I, I ran second midfield for most of the year. And by my senior year, I was elected captain, which was quite an honor. There certainly have been some setbacks for me in terms of the program being cut at Butler, but you can kind of look at them as setbacks or look at them as opportunities. We just compete in everything we do. We're trying to get better ourselves um, by, by demanding more from our teammates. One, two, three, oh! Coaching has really helped me change the way I play and what I look for. It just has helped me to improve as a player and ultimately as a person, trying to make kids better, better lacrosse players with better teammates and, and better individuals. Come on, we gotta talk. Every single time, we gotta talk. Be a good teammate. Spot, push, try and drive them out wide. Come on, drive them off. Gotta work, keep working, get lower. Our stick has gotta be up at all times. For my first two years as a professional lacrosse player, I really didn't see a lot of time. Kinda had people tell me, yeah, maybe it's time for you to hang it up and move on. For a little while, you kinda think, well, maybe they're right, maybe I should, you know, look, look, look to do something else. But there was part of me that just believed I could play and, and I, I was good enough to, to play and perform. I needed to be ready for my opportunity. We are headed to Velocity Newport Mesa right now. I'm in Costa Mesa where I train usually two days a week with Chase Cameron. Some movement stuff and a little bit of cardio to get going. Yeah, so that's where we're headed right now. So Jeremy's been off for a while, so today is a little bit more of a general prep phase, kind of reconditioning his body so we can get some work and prepare for what we need to do down the line here. You know, hit a little bit more high-intensity explosive actions, utilize a different kind of variety of systems to help him peak for that elite level performance. up to the season I'm really kind of transitioning more of the time in the weight room to, to on the field. So the first thing I'm trying to do is start with some just form and technique at first and, and just making sure that everything's in check and then as I warm up a little more I'll back up from the goal a little farther and really involve my lower body and from there 
move into shooting on the run and a little more movement down the alley or, or across the middle or if it's you know dodging and rolling back. Ultimately, I'm just kind of trying to simulate shots that I get in the game. Training for lacrosse is one of the more challenging things to do. You've got to have agility, you've got to have speed, you've got to have you know, endurance. So um, it's challenging, but, it, but uh, I love every second of it. Having confidence is really important, and, and confidence is earned by hard work and, and time you spend out on the field running or in the weight room lifting. I said all the time, you've got to have a mindset of, I'm always going to improve. I've always got to get a little bit better. It's a great feeling walking out on the field, feeling confident and knowing that there isn't anybody that's worked harder than I have. We can't look at ourselves as if we, we've kind of arrived and we've made it. I think personally as a, as a 28 year old midfielder, I've been playing the game for a long time, I still always am looking for opportunities to get better and improve.